Open Source Cooperatives. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 373. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Gia Siebel and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our May 17th, 2020 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is open source cooperatives. One Community is an open source cooperative. We're a 100% volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. And we're creating One Community because we want to live this way and we want to share living this way with anybody else that's interested in living this way too. And so we're creating as an open source cooperative as an open source cooperative, meaning we are an open source cooperative creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating one community as an open source cooperative to create an open source global collaborative of organizations working together for the highest good of all life on this planet to create a sustainable world for all of us. That's a lot of cooperatives and collaboratives in one sentence, but this is what we're doing. We envision a world built on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. We think that capitalism is overrated, and we think that there is a way to build a better model to create a better way of living that most people will agree is better than the way they're living right now. And by open sourcing and free sharing it, we will demonstrate it's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea will spread its own and everybody will benefit from this. And so this is what one community is up to. And everything that you see happening in the background of the video here, we are open sourcing and free sharing and will build as the initial prototype of seven different sustainable village models and an industry example that can be replicated all over the world as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub. A cooperative and a collaborative designed to help others build their own cooperatives and collaboratives. We call it a solution model designed to create additional solution creating models a solution to create solutions that create solutions, or a cooperative to create cooperatives that create cooperatives, and working together as a global cooperative and collaborative to do that. Does that make sense? Sounds confusing, but it really isn't. The idea is create a bunch of teacher demonstration hubs all over the world and use those to teach others to create teacher demonstration hubs as well, and work together as a global collaborative sharing and open sourcing and free sharing everything that we create so that people can implement it as either their own teacher demonstration hubs or as individual components that just make their life better. And so we've taken all the foundations of sustainability, the food, the energy, and the housing, and we've combined them with what, with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are fulfilled living practices, what we call high good education models, high good economic models, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all this together as a new way of living that we see and think that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now because it frees them from the daily grind. It puts a multitude of activities within walking distance and provides more free time and more things to do with that time than people currently have and allows people to create an environment where they can bring their friends and family together to work together to create an environment that they have complete control over and to, and to enrich that environment, their ability to enrich that environment, giving them all the tools and everything that they need to make that environment more fulfilling and better than the way they're living than anything that they're experiencing right now, even in major metropolitan areas like I'm living in in Los Angeles. Like at my fingertips, I have the ability to do pretty much anything I want to, but I have to drive there and there's an expense involved and traffic in Los Angeles is terrible. So it's a huge time and investment of time, money and energy just to do something really, really simple that in a community environment, we could cooperate and work together and have right within walking distance. Same thing. You know, I have tools and equipment, the things that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis. But if I were working in cooperation and collaboration with all of my neighbors and everybody within the community here, we could pool those resources and exponentially multiply our access to everything while exponentially reducing the cost of owning all of that. Like, I don't need to own a power drill. I just need access to a power drill when I want it. I don't even need to own a car. I just need access to a car whenever I want it. 
And so right now, if I were to look at the hundred families around me right now, you have replication of so much stuff and low quality stuff instead of the highest quality stuff. So things break faster. So you're constantly replacing and repairing things instead of owning the best and then sharing that. And so the one community model is designed to take that idea of a resource-based economy, of sharing, of tool tool libraries, of game libraries, of you name it, you recreational toy libraries, and apply that to the entire community model and open sourcing and free sharing that as well as everything else. So open source cooperatives is so much bigger than just teacher demonstration hubs because it's got so many smaller components that are involved in that as well. And all of it is open source and free shared because we want people to create tool libraries in their local environments, in their local communities. You could absolutely do that. Game libraries to be sharing and cooperating more. And for people that want to build a completely immersive environment, teacher demonstration hubs are the way to do that. And we're open sourcing and free sharing that and we'll build one community as the first example so people have a place that they could go and experience, visit, see what the entire lifestyle is about, see how we're governing ourselves, see how we're organizing, see how we're constructing everything, see what the end result turned out to be. And if they like what they see, any individual component of everything that it is that we're creating to be able to download the complete plans and see the whole evolution of it and be able to replicate that on their own for their own purposes, their own needs, or to replicate the complete teacher demonstration environment and create an entirely new way of living for themselves, their friends, and their family as well. That's what we're up to, and this is our idea of open source cooperatives and how we're going to change the world doing this. And so that's what we're up to. Stick around for a couple more minutes. You'll see more specifics and details, kind of bullet points on each of the different components of our project. Check out our written blog if you'd like to see uh, everything we've accomplished in the last week. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is Highest Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.